Hello everyone, I am Josh and welcome to this Sims 4 house building video. So today I am building my first house for get together. So of course I am here in Windenburg building a Tudor style home that I'm calling Tudor Mansion. Now this house, it's not, um, it doesn't look kind, doesn't really look like a mansion, even though it is very large actually. It is five bedrooms and four bathrooms. So like some of the other mansions I've built have about the same amount of space inside as this house. So I decided that I'd classify it as a mansion because it's pretty big and it's also pretty expensive, I think. So, you know, I think it definitely classifies as a mansion. And it also took me quite a while to build this house too. I think it was like um, built over three or four days, which is more than usual. So yeah, anyway, uh, as I said, this house has five bedrooms and a very interesting shape, as you can see here. Uh, it has three turrets and quite a few diagonals as well, uh, which is kind of interesting. It definitely makes the house a bit less boring because, you know, there's a bunch of interesting shapes everywhere. It made the roofing a little bit more difficult though, so that was a bit of a downside, but you'll see as we um, progress here how it turns out. So in the back of the house, you can see there's a large area with, um, well, a large rectangular area with like a bunch of large windows. That's going to be the living room. Uh, which is pretty cool. So there's like a nice lot, um, a nice amount of light comes in uh, through the back of the house there. And there's also a natural pool out the back, of course, since that's new with this expansion pack. Uh, so it's like I kind of made it look more like a pond, even though technically Sims can swim in it, although it looks a little murky. So I don't know if I would swim in it personally, but it looks kind of cool. It looks like a nice pond or something. And you'll we'll get to that. And here you can see I'm expanding the house um, vertically. So we have a third floor area which is just kind of a um for a to it's <laughs> that third floor area over the front door is to uh give a two-story ceiling to the library which is going to be in that space so that's what i was trying to say uh, so you can see i have some nice shuttered windows up the top there and i'm using mostly all the new doors and windows from get together uh which are pretty nice um there's not too many of them, at least in the traditional style. I mean, there's like a few different sizes of the rectangular windows, but they look really nice anyway, which is nice. Um, so that's all good and jolly. And here I'm working on the roof, which um, I messed around with a little bit. I kind of change it up some and some time um, at times. I don't know. I'm jumbling over all my words. What a great start. <laughs> so also putting in a fake dormer there in the front, which is just like a roof decoration. I actually I actually put a couple in. And here I'm putting a diagonal roof. Yeah, so this area here was a little bit of a challenge because it just was not working out right uh, because of the way that the turret is shaped um, or the way it attaches to the house more specifically. Um, all those angled parts were actually weirdly not on the grid. So like the roofs wouldn't place. Here you can see the problem is it's not actually a square there. Like that corner won't actually square off. So I had to reshape this area. So you'll see I'm doing that here. And um, it was a little weird, but I was able to figure it out. Uh, so right here, I'm just trying to rebuild this turret so I can actually put a roof on the house, because that's convenient. Um, and here, I'm just going to continue that new shape to the second floor, fix that area. Uh, and um, yeah, so I'm kind of shrinking the house a little bit, but it's okay. And there, I also put some balconies around the place. There's a few in the back, a few in the front, uh, just for a bit of detail, so the house doesn't look just like a box, you know. Um, also, there's a couple of large dormers out the back, although they're just for show, there's nothing in them. Uh, they just kind of look nice. Uh, and there's the angled roof now, the diagonal roof, which actually works properly now, which is exciting. And here I'm fixing up some of the roofs around the back. And yeah, so here adding some more roofing, a lot of roofs on this house. As you can see, they're kind of going all, which, all different directions, especially when I get to the other diagonal part of the house, which you'll see in a moment. Um, there's a lot of diagonal roofs, actually. Uh, but the main house is actually a rectangle, so it's kind of a simple shape. Like, that main roof is very simple, but it still looks really nice. Uh, and here I'm just putting the roof on the turret, which I ended up just going with a normal um, square-shaped roof with four sides on the top of the turret, even though it is an octagonal turret. Um, it just, there's no octagonal roofs, so I had to use a square roof, which is okay. And I was going to put some details along the top of the roof, but they didn't look good, so I didn't do it. And there you can see another fake um, dormer there on the front. Um, those are just like roof decor that came with the expansion pack. They're not actually dormers or anything. Um, they don't function for any Like, they don't have a functioning purpose. And here I'm just adding in some more windows. 
and um, some details here with the fencing, uh, which is the new fencing as well, which looks pretty nice. Uh, the one thing that annoyed me though with the new fence is there's no matching railing for that fence, so I couldn't match the railings, but not the end of the world. Uh, and here I'm just adjusting some of the roofing. Oh yeah, here I'm going to start putting the roof on this part of the house, so I just kind of put that level above to get the trim on, and there's the roof, so you can see uh, more diagonals. Um, so yeah, and putting in a little piece of roof there. So all the roofing I think is done now. I'm just going to change the trim colors I think a few times because I couldn't settle on one I wanted. Uh, so, you know, going through all the different shades of brown trim, which is exciting. So I think I settled kind of on the medium one, like it's not too light or not too dark. Uh, so it's kind of like a, it's like a dark brown, I guess. It's not like black and it's not light brown, so it looks nice. Um, all the windows and doors are also a, like, dark brown, because normally I go with black, or, like, a really dark wood, but this time I didn't do that, so it looks pretty good. Um, and here I'm just putting some small roofs over those balconies, uh, so those are finished off. And there's some columns as well. And also I put some railings on top of those bay windows, just kind of for some detail, because, again, there's no, like, hexagonal roof or octagonal roofs in the game, so I can't, like, put proper roofs over those. Which is so weird, I don't know why they don't put those in. But anyway, uh, here you can see putting on some of the beautiful plaster and wood to actually make it look like a uh, Tudor house. So I love these wall textures, just to say, I have to say that. They're really cool. I, I love the wall textures that, like for Tudor houses that came with Get Together, they look really nice. And there's so many variety, there's so much variety of them. So it's like all these different kinds of plaster ones and stone ones. This looks really good. You can see I'm putting them all over the place here, getting some patterns in, and it looks really nice. It looks like a Tudor house. Now, I was able to build a Tudor house in the game before, but it just didn't look as good as this, and I really like it. So um, you can see putting in all the wallpaper everywhere. And yeah, um, also I do put some plaster and brick combo um, on parts of it, so you'll see that. Um, but that's not that didn't come with the expansion pack, but it looks good with all of this. And yeah, so putting in some columns on the corners of stuff just to add that finishing detail that I like to do. And here I'm going to put the plaster on. There it is. Yeah, it's like the plaster brick thing. I don't even know. I put that in a couple places. It looks good. And yeah. So just finishing up all the colors and putting in some windows there on those dormers. And I'm going to put some more windows elsewhere on the house, I think. And yeah, so putting some arched windows around the um, bay window here, and that all looks good. And some more arched windows. Yeah, so I use the uh, nice arched windows that those arched windows didn't come with get together, but I use them on the turrets because they look really nice. Um, I don't think there are any arched windows in get together except for the ones I have on the top of the turrets, which are kind of like have stone surround or something. I think those are the only arched ones, but I could, might be wrong. Um, well, actually, the big ones, um, the large windows in the back have arches, like arch tops, but anyway, that's not too important. So, putting in some more windows, I think we're almost done with windows, finally. Um, so, yeah. I mean, this house actually came together pretty quickly. It's only been, like, eight and a half minutes, and we already have, like, the whole structure, so a lot of the time that it took me to build this house went into furnishing and landscaping, uh, because it's a big house, like I said. It's five bedrooms. It's also a study, a library. The living room is really large. Um... So yeah, it's pretty big. I wish it went on a bigger lot, and you'll see I actually was going to move it to a bigger lot part partway through, but I didn't do that because the only other lot size bigger than this was a 64 by 64. So there's no 50 by 50 lots in Windenburg. So here I'm going to try to move it to a different lot, but I quickly discovered there's only a 64 by 64 lot. That's the only one that's bigger than uh, 40 by 30. So a 50 by 50 I think would be ideal for this house. So like if you want to place it in uh, um, wood, wood, what's the name? Oh my goodness. Wood Creek, Woodland Creek, whatever. The normal worlds that came with the Sims 4 base game. Um, then it would probably work perfectly on a 50 by 50 lot. I mean, it works well on a 40 by 32, but um, I felt like a 64 by 64 was a little big for this house. Uh, I don't know. I just, I mean, you could totally do it, but. I just didn't think it looked that great. Um, also, speaking of 64 by 64 lots, that is new in Get Together, which is pretty exciting. Uh, I'm not sure how long I'm going to take before I decide to finally build on a 64 by 64 lot, because that would be a big house, and I'm not in the mood for a house bigger than this one at the moment, so 
Who knows, that could be in the near future though, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, here I'm just putting in some stairs and some railings. Also, if you noticed, I put a stone wall around the house as well, uh, which I really like that stone wall, looks good. And here I'm going to put just some nice stone on the front porch and the back porch too, yep. And uh, a little bit of wood on all the balconies and such, so it looks nice and finished off. And yeah. So, what am I up to now? Putting in some outdoor lighting, uh, just because. So, just like some nice porch lighting and stuff. Uh, I also love some of the new ivy in the game. Uh, which, you know, in my, a lot of my Sims 4 house builds, including my previous one, I used flower boxes as ivy because it actually looked pretty convincing. But Get Together has some ivy that's proper ivy. If you notice, I put some of it around the turret there, also putting some here on um, like that area over the front door, and it looks really good. So I'm quite happy with that. Uh, so that's a good thing. Finally have proper ivy, and it looks really nice. It actually looks a lot better than The Sims 3 ivy. Um, although, um, Dragon Valley in The Sims 3 came with ivy. I never got that, so I'm not entirely sure how that ivy looks, but the other ivy in The Sims 3 doesn't look so great. Anyway, I'm going on a whole thing about ivy, who really cares? Um, so, here I'm putting in a bunch of plants and flowers and stuff. Um, there weren't too many new um, bushes and stuff with Get Together. I mean, there's a couple bushes that are, like, um, inter like your sims can interact with them, so they can, like, pee in them and woohoo in them and all that kind of stuff, but I didn't want to put any of those in uh, because they're a bit large, and, you know, I like the smaller kind of low-lying bushes and flowers uh, to go along the house, so... Just use the classic base game ones because those just tend to be the best. Um, yeah, so here I'm just putting a bunch of flowers everywhere and um, some terrain paint as usual. And I love, you can see I, really, I went crazy with the flowers too, like they're all over the place. I love the look of that though on this house. It just kind of looks really nice. I don't know, I just think it looks really cool. It's kind of like a house that you'd see in like the, either the British countryside or like in New England. I guess the New England countryside too. Um, so like, I guess it would be like, I don't know, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, I'm not really sure where these kind of houses are, but, you know, anyway, it looks really nice, and, I don't know, I just love the look of this kind of house, it just looks so cozy, and old, and just amazing, I don't know, I'm so happy with this house, and the landscaping is now done, and it looks really good, I love all the flowers around it, um, and it really turned out nicely, I also just put some more outdoor lighting, uh, around the place and now I think we're finally moving inside so that's exciting and there you can see I just put the living room in uh, quite a large living room but there's also like a bar area and also a piano area so it's kind of split up a little bit but it's still a very large room so there's that and here I'm just putting in um, some like arches that look down over well, not over but into the turret there so that looks pretty cool that's on the second floor and I'm also about to put in the floor plan for the second floor, which is quite difficult. And some of the rooms are a little weirdly shaped because, um, obviously, when I built this house, I didn't plan out the floor plan at all. So, some of the rooms are a little weird, but, like, the, uh, girl's bedroom is a very weird shape. I guess the other kid's room, too, is a little weird, but a bit less, so. Um, so, yeah, the rooms are a bit of a weird shape upstairs. Downstairs, not, downstairs is not too bad. Uh, so you can see you have the entrance, the dining room, the kitchen. There's also another bedroom downstairs, too. Uh, so, yeah, that all worked out pretty well. And I also putting in an area for a closet for the master bedroom. So there I am putting in the closet, as you can see. Um, the closets are really big, and I kind of wish they didn't take up a 2x2 two two space. But, like, I think a 1x2 would have been appropriate, but it's okay. They're still pretty cool. And here I'm putting in some archways um, so your sims can navigate through the house. Um, yeah, it all looks pretty good. So I think that's the floor plan done now. I'm going to put in some doors, of course, because those are always useful to have. So just putting doors all over the place upstairs. A lot of double doors, too, actually. Um, those are for the fancier rooms, like the master bedroom and the study and the library. So all those fancy schmancy rooms get the double doors. I don't know why I'm talking about double doors. Anyway, now we're on to the living room. So we have a fireplace in the living room there which kind of takes the center of the room um, on purpose, so it kind of splits up the room a bit. Uh, so I was able to kind of put in a second area behind the fireplace, which worked out pretty well. There's also a fireplace on the landing upstairs, a fireplace in the study, a fireplace... Uh, there's not a fireplace somewhere in the house, and the dining room is also a fireplace. So there's a lot of fireplaces, I think. There's four total, um, so quite a few. 
indeed. Um, yeah, so anyway, here you can see putting in some more stone, some nice golden chandeliers, of course, because it has to be classy. And um, the, I, here's where I couldn't find a matching railing to go with the um, um, normal well, matching stair railings to go with the fences. So it was a little irritating, but I figured it out. I just used one that looked close, but wasn't exact. Uh, and I love this tile flooring. I just wish that um, they had more matching ones because I couldn't find a matching tile flooring for like this, the color I had for this pattern, so I had to change it. Um, but still, it's really cool. And there we go, there's the final color I went with. Um, yeah, I love that tile flooring, because a lot of colors, there's also a matching wall um, tile for that. And there's also those like really cool matching designs that go in there as well, which are separate floor tiles. Um, it looks really cool. I don't know, I think those are really neat um, tiles. Anyhow, now we're in the living room, and I don't go with these curtains because they're kind of a little too big. Uh, so I went with a little, um, I went for some curtains that are a bit more classy. Um, we can put it that way. So they look quite a bit nicer. Um, I'm going to get to that in a moment, I hope. So I guess we'll see. Uh, also, you can see the natural pool there out the back, which I forgot to mention when I did it. Um, so the natural pool is right behind the living room. So you can kind of look out of the living room into it. And as you can see, it's kind of small, but I did put a railing into it, so Sims can technically swim in there if they want to. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. I kind of like to think of it as a pond because it's small and it has like some stuff growing in it. Uh, but it still could be functional as a pool, I guess, if you want it to be. And there you can see I put the piano in. Uh, also put a sculpted plant um, or a topiary in the uh, entrance um, right by the front door there and uh, putting a couple of plants on the other side of the fireplace. And uh, the living room layout, the furniture layout is a little weird. Uh, I purposely put everything on a weird angle because I thought it looked pretty cool. And it does look pretty cool in the end. Uh, right now it's not finished yet, but um, I will finish it. I also put a secret bookcase door from the living room to the study. Though the study is not secret because there is a door from the study to the entrance, but it's like a secret pass through, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, I actually have never used any secret bookcase door in The Sims 4 yet because they don't look very secret, uh, it, but it kind of blends in a bit, so it's okay. And here I'm putting in a rug, a nice runner in the hallway, and as you can see, the entrance to the house is quite large. Um, it, like, it goes from the front to the back, and like every room on the first floor kind of like comes off of it, uh, which is, you know, interesting. It's, it, it's a grand entrance, I guess you could say. Um, and there's like a nice stone accent or a brick accent happening in there, which I thought looks pretty nice. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, I didn't thought it looks pretty nice. I think it looks pretty nice. Oh, English. So as you can see, I was going to put some candelabras in, but I ended up just using normal sconces because I didn't want it to look medieval. Uh, so I thought that the sconces looked a bit nicer. There's also a nice sitting area here in the entrance, um, which I don't know why anyone would sit there, but it looks nice. Uh, there's also a bird bath and a bird house out in the backyard now, which is nice, so the birds can be happy too. And speaking of birds, um, the get-together does have some birds in it. Um, they're just like object, like they're just like decoration, like they're not, like you can't interact with them. But they still look really cool, they're like pigeons that just like peck at the ground. Um, there's actually like a patch of them just outside this house, like just off the lot, which looks pretty cool. I didn't even know that was a thing, but it looks really nice. Um, so yeah. Anyhow, I'm putting in some curtains now, which is exciting, and there's the giant four-story turret that's out the front of the house, uh, which is quite large, and I was going to put the same golden chandeliers upstairs too, but they hang down so low that there's no way anyone could walk under them, because the second floor has a lower ceiling than the first floor, so they didn't really work out. And here I, fi uh, I finished the living room layout, and I'm putting a crap ton of plants behind this couch. Like, the whole corner is, like, filled with plants. I think there's, like, five, six plants back there. It's kind of ridiculous, but it looks nice, so it worked out fine. And plenty of seating. I actually put an additional chair in as well, so this living room could technically seat um, eight sims, so that's kind of a lot. Um, but yeah, so I guess this, uh, this house can sleep eight sims, too. Um, let me just think about that. Yeah, it can. Um, it can sleep 10, technically, though you can't have that many without a mod, so... Yeah, I mean, this house is big enough for pretty much any family, so that's exciting. 
Um, and yeah, and here's the bar area, which I just kind of snuck in behind the fireplace, which I thought was pretty cool. And there's also some nice bar stools there where the piano is, uh, which I'm really happy with this little area because I, I didn't know what to do with it. And I'm like, well, you know, it's almost the perfect size, perfect size for a bar. So it actually worked out pretty well. And I'm also putting some drinks cabinets here. Uh, they don't entirely match the style of the living room, but it's not too bad. I put some stone and some columns and it all kind of worked together all, all right. Um, and there you can see is a nice uh, chair I'm adding in, not that one. Um, it took me a little while to find the one I wanted. Um, still finding it, still finding it. There we go. So I put another chair in uh, to the living room and I also get a lamp kind of going behind the chair. Um, so someone could read in that chair, I guess, because it's not facing the TV or fireplace, but, you know, it's a good conversation area. Like, everyone can sit down in a circle and converse. Um, I really love the living room. It's, like, so nice. It's, like, cozy, but there's, like, a bunch of big windows, and the curtains look really classy, and, I don't know, I just love the living room so much. It's, like, my favorite room, and I love the bar area, too, and the way it's kind of hidden behind the fireplace. And oh, it's, it's, it's quite wonderful. Um, and now that we're done with the living room, are nearly done almost done there now we're done and now we can move on to the half bathroom which is off the hallway or the entrance or whatever you want to call it so um, a lot of brick in here as you can see uh, but it's basically um, a sink and toilet very simple not too much to it and it looks it looks good I mean it's a bathroom nothing too exciting and getting a picture to go on the wall there you go beautiful so now we are moving on to what I I think is the dining room. Yeah, this is the dining room or not. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> We're moving on to the dining room, which is not a huge room, but it's pretty classy. There's also an eat-in area in the kitchen, so your Sims don't have to use the football dining room if they don't want to. Uh, and here you can see you got the largest possible dining table without combining them with move objects, and I got some nice fancy chairs that are covered uh, with a fabric um, cover. Um, <laughs> they're just covered in a fabric cover. Wow. That's an amazing sentence. Anyway, uh, here you can see I'm putting in some nice cur uh, curtains. I'm I already put in the curtains. I'm putting in some mirrors. Wow, I'm mixing up words now. Um, and I'm also was going to put a trellis outside, but I didn't. Um, and I'm going to put in something in this corner. I think it's a table with a trophy on it. Yes, it is. And a chair as well. So a nice green chair that looks nice in there. And I believe we're almost done with the dining room, which is pretty quick to do, um, actually. And also get some candles on the table, which look nice. Um, I also put a plant in a giant vase in this turret. Um, and then we'll move back to the dining room, obviously. I just had to do that because that's obviously necessary. And here we go. We're back in the dining room. I was going to put a candelabra on the table, but thought now nah, we'll just put some nice little simplistic candles there. And it looks pretty good. So, dining room is now done. And now we're moving on to the kitchen, which is a bizarre shape, mainly because it's half diagonal. Um, so, as you can see... It's a weird shape, but it turned out all right. Um, and here you can see I'm putting in uh, like a nice little island, which is also on a diagonal. Um, and it, you know, it fits everything in. It's not a huge kitchen, but it looks good. Um, it definitely fits in with the style of the house. It has a very old look to it, um, very cozy look though. And you know, it looks like it would suit a Tudor home well. So I'm really happy with it. And here I'm putting in some nice cabinets. And I love these little things that came with get together. These little shelving units like full of kitchen things. They look really cool. So I put them over the fridge area. And yeah, so here I'm putting in a dining table so your Sims can eat in the kitchen um, if they don't want to eat in the formal dining room because it's obviously for formal occasions. And here I'm putting in some plants and a little mat and a rug, which I'm not going to use. And I, then a rug that I am going to use. And um, yeah, so pretty simple dining room. Uh, it's not hugely over the top or anything, but it looks good. And here I'm adjusting all the curtains because I realized I placed them too high on the windows. So now I'm fixing that. Um, there we go. That's fixed. So putting in some more lights and a nice photograph on the wall. And it all looks very nice and dandy. And now we're going to put in some details, of course. So, you know, the usual, um, you know, utensils like spatulas and spoons and forks. Um, and also like some paper towel rolls. All that good stuff everyone loves to have. Also a um, cutting board as well. And some curtains. And I'm about to put in some more stuff. Also some pastries as well because you have to have the pastries obviously. And some milk carton things. 
that just look like they belong. And yeah, so that's pretty much the kitchen done. Also a keg, because why not? And there you go, that's done. So now we're moving on to the um, 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 bathroom. I don't know why that was hard to find. Well, I don't know why it was hard to find that word, but now we're moving on to the bathroom, uh, which I just expanded because it was too small. And we have a nice, you know, decent sized bathroom. It's got a club, a club, a um, claw tub. I just like, kind of combined the word claw and tub together to club. I guess that works. And uh, speaking of clubs, get together has clubs, so you know why not call it a club tub? Anyway, that okay. Anyway, I have a clawfoot tub, um, and I sink and toilet, and I also use a lot more of that tile in here as well, which looks pretty nice. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Now moving on to the guest bedroom that's downstairs, which goes for a green color scheme. It also has a three-story turret in it because why not? Um, or more just because that's the way the floor plan worked out. And here you can see I'm putting in um, some nice lighting, some more sconces of course, and I'm about to put in some nice, um, some more some more furniture because right now it's only a bed. Uh, so, it's a nice green lamps, uh, there's a dresser there, small armoire really, or it's just a set of drawers actually, it's not an armoire. A set of drawers, um, I also put some mirrors in the turret so it's kind of like a changing area. Although, there's a lot of windows there, so I don't know if that's the best place to be changing clothes, but I put some mirrors there, so it looks kind of cool. Um, and yeah, so finding some artwork to go on the walls, because that's that makes that looks nice, you know. Uh, putting some curtains in, some green curtains to match the room's color scheme. And um, there's a nice rug, which actually I like that rug a lot. Um, the nice, it has like a nice cream, brown, and green color in it, which actually really looks nice in this room. Um, it kind of works perfectly with all the other colors happening. Um, also putting in a, a coat rack and shoe rack in the entrance and a candelabra there. Um, yeah, so here I'm just putting in, um, well I was going to put in a plant, I do put in a plant, um, but I also put the changing area in the um, turret. So you got the couple mirrors, a plant because obviously you need plants in changing rooms. Um, it's not a separate room though, but you get the idea. Anyway, I think we're almost done with this bedroom. It looks pretty good. We are done with it. So there you go. Now we're moving on to the study, which is kind of on the smaller side, uh, but it looks really nice with that sh with that stained glass window, um, which is kind of a bay window, which looks nice. And I also have a map of the world. Um, it's not the whole world. It's part of the world um, over the fireplace and also a nice bookshelf, which did not come in a matching color to anything else in the room. And I tried a bunch of fireplace, not fireplaces, I tried a bunch of bookshelves, couldn't get a matching color. It was a bit annoying. But anyway, that's not the end of the world. So we have a nice chair, uh, which I changed the color of. It doesn't stay green. I mean, it doesn't, it, well, I think it, do, it is green in the end, but it doesn't stay red, it changes to green. Um, and I'm also putting in a few more things. I don't think there's much room for many other things in this room because it's very small, but it still isn't too bad, so I got like a toilet, I, mean, I have, not toilet paper, I have paper tissue, no, um, tissues, that's the word, wow. Oh my goodness, <laughs> tissues, a rug, and there I just changed the color of the chair to green like I said I would. And now we're moving on to the second floor landing, uh, where we have a fireplace, a nice little sitting area, and it's actually a pretty large space, um, so that's nice, and also a nice... Um, mirror there over the fireplace and I'm putting in a chest table as well because there wasn't enough room in it a room for it in the study so it was a little unfortunate anyway you can see you're putting in a nice three-seater couch I also put in a couple chairs and they are orange which kind of adds a nice pop of color to the second floor and you can see um, those like archways that look down into the um, turret which is kind of cool and yeah so putting in a few bits of furniture here and there a nice plant um, also a nice rug. I was going to use that rug, but the colors just did not work, so I ended up going with that one uh, in a nice kind of soft white and gray colors. Um, and also putting in the, uh, putting in a runner, or two runners rather, in the hallway with some mirrors, and there's the chest table with a rug under it. A bookshelf, of course. I was going to put in a foosball table, but there just was not enough room. It was a little sad, but it didn't work out, so no foosball table, unfortunately. And uh, I just put the wall colors and flooring here in the two-story library. Um, you can't actually go to the second floor of it, but um, it does have a two-story ceiling, which is pretty cool. And plenty of bookshelves, of course. Um, also, two-story bookshelves, which look pretty nice. It would be really cool if we had like a ladder 
that like you know sims would use to climb up to get books from the second floor because that's the way you know some like really big libraries are like they have like the ladders um but of course there's none of that in the sims 4 so uh, what a shame but it still looks really nice um so yeah so um now we're just gonna put some furniture in the uh, library so i'm gonna put in this like a nice sitting area we have some couches and chairs you'll see um, so it works out pretty well. You know, it's just like an area for Sims to go and read. I guess they could build their skill levels up in here or something like that. I mean, they could do that in the study too because the study has a bookshelf, but there was just an extra room and I thought it would be cool to have it be a, um, library. And I guess if you don't want the library and you want a sixth bedroom, you could totally make this a bedroom too, so that works out fine. So you could have six bedrooms in this house, so yay. Anyway, uh, that room is now done and now moving on to... Some more bedrooms, uh, of course, because there's like four more of them left. Um, so now we're moving on to the boys' bedroom, which uh, is a pretty small room. Uh, it has a turret in it, though, and a balcony. I think um, th I think the only two bedrooms have balconies. I think only the master bedroom and the boys' bedroom has a balcony. Um, well, the master bedroom has two, and the master bathroom has its own balcony, too, because it just has to, obviously. It has to be fancy. Um, also putting in some flower boxes as well. And here I'm just going to finally come back to the boys' bedroom, and there's an interesting wallpaper there, um, which I'm not sure entirely suits the room, but it's okay. Uh, and what am I doing? I don't know why. Like, I keep, like, working on the boys' bedroom, then leaving, and then coming back, and then leaving. It's like, let's finish this bedroom. Okay, we're finishing it now. Got plenty of posters, got some toys, um, some more toys, some stuffed animals in the turret there, and um, putting some details in, um, getting some blinds on the windows, and yeah, so a pretty small room, but it looks all right. Um, a little kind of turquoise colored rug there. And this room does have an ensuite bathroom, which is interesting. So the smallest bedroom has an ensuite because that makes sense. Or it's more just because that's the way the floor plan worked out because my houses are such weird shapes that, you know, anything can happen with the floor plan. Also, I really wanted a glass roof um, over this bathroom because I thought it would be really cool, but it just did not work out, so... That was a little sad, but I probably could have gotten it to work, but the bathroom would have outdoor lighting instead of indoor lighting, because it would not technically have a roof. So, you know, I just gave up on that, but it still is pretty cool. Uh, and also putting in, it would have been pretty cool. It's not, well, it is cool the way it is, but it would have been cooler if I had a glass ceiling. Anyway, um, pretty much the same stuff in this bathroom that's in the bathrooms downstairs. And, you know, that basically finishes off the kid's bedroom there. And now moving on to... Uh, a guest bedroom, so this is kind of like a painter's room, I guess. Um, there's an art easel out on the balcony off the landing, and I kind of imagine that the person that would um, stay in this room, uh, maybe it's a person that lives in the house, I guess, um, likes to paint. So like they have some art easels, not easels, uh, some canvases on the floor, uh, which you'll see, which I thought was kind of cool. So, you know, you'll see that. Um, yeah, so putting in some details here, a nice side table, uh, putting some stuff on the dressers, uh, you know, also a little backpack in the kids' room, and there's some, um, canvases, which I thought looked kind of cool, and some dirty clothes on the floor, because they're a slob, apparently, and, uh, yeah, so pretty simple bedroom, uh, not super fancy, not large, it's kind of on the smaller side, but it still looks nice, and now moving on to the master bedroom, which is not huge, uh, but it is the biggest bedroom, I think, uh, or the bedroom downstairs might be the biggest, but this one has an ensuite, and two balconies, and a closet, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, so here you can see I'm working on a sitting area which did not work out, so I ended up putting uh, one chair off to the far side, and then one here, and a couple of large plants, which I thought looked pretty cool. And a nice painting over the bed, and some lamps, some yellow lamps, which are interesting, but they actually look pretty good. And yeah, so putting in some rugs, and a uh, nice little artwork there over the chair, and yeah, so a pretty simple bedroom. I also put a sculpture on a side table there just to fill up the space, and here I'm putting some lighting on all the balconies and porches and stuff just so it looks nice at night, uh, because I thought I might as well do that now. And now moving on to the final bathroom in the house, which is the master suite uh, bathroom. So it's a pretty large bathroom, though I still couldn't fit a separate tub and shower in because there's a door that leads out to the balcony. So, it's still the same tub-shower combination, but it is a clawfoot tub, so it looks kind of cool. Um, fits in with the house, and uh, yeah, so pretty nice master bathroom um, there. So yeah, putting some curtains in as well, and there you go. 
So I think next we're moving on to the girls' room. Yes, so that's it here, uh, or this is it here, and it's a very weird shaped room, as you can see. It's quite bizarre, actually. Um, it just was kind of what was left over of the second floor after I worked on the rest of the floor plan. I'm like, oh wow, we have this weird shaped room. What am I gonna do? With, what am I gonna do with it? Well, a, you can squeeze a kids' room in because kids' rooms can have single beds. So I thought, you know, it works fine. It's actually, I think, about the same size as the boys' bedroom. Uh, it's just a very different shape, but it still looks pretty good. So there you go. That room is now done, and now we're just gonna finish off the fake dormers and all that good stuff. So I think we're gonna finish up the house here with a bit of outdoor lighting and landscaping. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please check out my channel. I have some more house builds there. I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing as well. And yes, here I'm just putting in some details, a mailbox, a mailbox, a trash can. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoy the screenshots coming up after this. Anyway, I hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.